Hello, and thank you for choosing my tutorials for your Blender 3D education. I'd like to start off with some self-promotion real quick. Please visit www.russimf.com. There you can find all of these tutorials and more. I have renders that I have done there and also weekly contests for the new best render featured on my main page. You can also find free textures you can use in modeling your own file under the Files tab. Please be sure to support the site by clicking on an ad while you're there. I'm doing this for free and I could really use the support. In and enjoy the tutorials. Alright, hello and welcome to uh, tutorial 4. This tutorial is going to be on something called radiosity, uh, or radiosity, however you want to pronounce it. Um, it's a very, very cool tool. Uh, if you've been to my website, you've actually seen it in work. Uh, I'll take you over there real quick, russimf.com. Uh, if you look at my main page, you can see here uh, this orange glow at the base of my logo and uh, how these seem to admit light uh, that's actually radiosity at work um, that's a very simple example of it I'm going to show you another simple example of how to do it uh, I think you're going to love this this is a lot of fun uh, so what I want you to do is go ahead and open up Blender uh, and switch to the default scene uh, or just keep the default scene and go to your camera view uh, when in your camera view I want you to take the square the cube and uh, move it to the side a little bit over here and make a copy of it. Uh, I want you to hold shift and hit D to duplicate and move that one over here. Alright, too easy, right? Uh, now what I want you to do is uh, make a plane right in the center of the two. So that's uh, spacebar, add mesh, plane, and then S to size it up. Okay? Too easy. Alright, I'm just going to move mine move mine around a little bit here. Uh, you can position them however you want, it really doesn't make any difference. I just like to have a little bit of space in between them for the example here. Okay, now what I want you to do is go over to your coloring tab, alright? I want you to color these, uh, let's see here. Actually, you know what, I lied. Uh, go ahead and delete one of the cubes. Uh, yeah, just delete one and uh, go ahead and make another cube. I'm not going to go over how to separate the cubes yet. Uh, so you have two separate ones here. All right. Uh, now go in here and add a new. Uh, I want you to make this one. Uh, go ahead and make this one red. All right. And then go ahead and make the other one. Add new. Make that one blue. Two really contrasting colors. Okay. Uh, and then it doesn't matter. The plane can stay gray. Doesn't matter. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the emit, uh, if I can find it here, shaders, emit, okay, right there. Uh, if you go into shaders and you take the emit, uh, you don't need to bring it up really high. Uh, I'm going to only bring mine up to about 0.5, give or take, and do that for both of them. 0.5. All right, you can see they get a little bit brighter. They seem to emit a little bit. Okay. Uh, Go over to the radiosity button. It's the little nuclear button over here. Okay, go ahead and click on that. Now, what I want you to do is right click on the plane, then hold shift, and right click both of your cubes. All right, and I want you to click collect mesh and then go. And as you can see on my computer here, uh, they are coloring the plane around them. Uh, really neat trick. Okay, mine's done here. Uh, if I go ahead and hit replace mesh, this is the important part. It took me forever to figure out and uh, there was like one tutorial online about it and it, it really sucked. Uh, all you have to do is hit replace mesh. If you render it without hitting replace mesh, nothing will happen and you'll be very irritated. Uh, hit replace mesh, okay? And then go ahead and hit render. And as you can see, this is a horrible example. <laughs> because it's like making white light. Uh, as you can see though, there, your cubes are emitting light. Uh, one way you can kind of do this is delete your lamp, try that. Uh, if you delete your lamp, then uh, there you go. Kind of personifies it a little bit there. Uh, but that's basic radiosity. Um, you can do a bunch of different neat tricks with it. Uh, if, if this isn't right for you, if uh, you want to change it a little bit, hit free data free radio data okay uh, oh one of the one of the cool ones here hit Gower collect mesh 
oh, sorry, you got to reselect all these. Make sure you select your plane first, and then your uh, and then your objects. Okay, so that's a uh, right click, hold control, uh, correction, right click. Yeah, right click, hold control, select your objects. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. Uh, after you do this, for some reason, it joins the objects. I don't know why, uh, but it should still work. Let's see if it does. Yeah, it still works. Uh, it, I don't know why it joins the objects. It, it just does. You can uh, get around that by um, just Control Z your way back until it uh, until it doesn't, you know, until they're not joined anymore. But that's gonna undo anything you've done in between the time. So uh, something you should think about. But uh, what I did was I hit Gower. And I went back and collect, and I, I went back and collected the meshes, and uh, hit go. And we're gonna see how this looks here. Uh, now this this one for some reason takes a lot longer to do. Uh, you can always cancel at any time. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape now, and uh, it's gonna leave me with this image. So replace mesh and render current frame. And as you can see, uh, it looks a little bit better. All right. Uh, that's basically all I have for radiosity. Uh, once again, this is one of those things that I'll go a little bit more in depth into once we get past the basics. Uh, I have about 18, no, uh, maybe more like 15 basics videos, and then a couple intermediate videos, and then uh, we'll be moving on to advanced stuff, uh, probably around video 20, tutorial 20. Um, I'm going to be releasing a uh, bunch of tutorials on how to make a video game also, but uh, that's, that's down the road. Uh, probably within probably around video 20 so uh, look forward to that and uh, please make sure visit visit the website www.russimf.com uh, visit an ad help support the site I highly appreciate it all right thank you